Hello loves, I hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm coming to you guys with an overall haul video of places that I've gone and shopped at. I did this haul already, but I accidentally deleted all my footage or I don't know. Blame it on me. So I'm going to get started with some buys that I did at a local beauty shop. And these are gel polishes because I am a gel polish snob. And it is from Nobility or Le Chat is the brand. And this is the Perfect Match Mood Changing Polish. This one is in Partly Cloudy. And it changes colors and it shows you like a little lever of what the colors are supposed to be like. So the colors go on light once you apply it to the nail when you see it in the bottle it looks blue and it is beautiful so the other color i got was moonlit eclipse and this is a gorgeous gray shimmer shade these are all frost colors these are gorgeous and i found them cheaper at my nail supply store than i would online so so i went to walgreens and this i've actually had this for a couple of months and i forgot to haul it but i've been seeing it a lot more on youtube and i'm like uh these came out months ago but this is the burt's bees lip crayon and this is in the color sedona sands and it is an okay nude. I'm going to swatch it and you guys are going to see what I'm talking about. It is pretty, but my lips are already pretty pigmented. So this looks like I'm wearing something lighter than my lips. I don't know. I, I've been wearing it quite a bit. I leave this on my bedside. So if I forget to apply lipstick or if I'm having really dry lips and I need something a little thicker, I'd apply this. But... Overall, I can do without this. So. so I went on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website and I picked up some items. You guys have probably seen them in my other videos. I used these products actually in one of my last tutorials. And I have done a recent tutorial. So I don't know if you're going to be seeing this first. Or if you're going to be seeing the tutorial, the my next tutorial first. So I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi or Amrezi palette. I want to say Amrezi, but it's probably Amrezi. Because I'm horrible with names. And I'm sorry, boo. She's an awesome Instagrammer. I follow her and I think she's gorgeous. And she hooked up with uh, Anastasia. And they created this gorgeous palette. And look at it. Look at it. I think this is beautiful with the two jewel tones. You can make pretty much any look pop a little bit. These bottom four shades right here are matte. And this one on the bottom and the top five are shimmer. Yeah shimmer satin shimmers i hope you guys like what i'm rocking today because there's gonna be a tutorial on it but yes absolutely gorgeous so worth it to me next item i picked up from anastasia beverly hills is a custom made contour kit palette and ta-da it is gorgeous i have been using this a lot as you can see it looks a little grungy so i'm gonna run down the shades that i got here this one is vanilla this is the color sand which is a very shimmery highlight this one is champagne, also a highlight. I have the banana shade. This one is fawn because I wanted something that was more cool toned so that I can really contour with it. And I have to say this is probably like one of the best powders I've come across. Trust me. And this is the color clay. And I didn't realize it was going to be this warm, but I have used it. I actually mix these two together. I know I'm going to be repurchasing this fawn. And I'm actually going to create another custom palette just because I love this one so much. So I went to CVS and I picked up a couple of things. Now one of these you've already probably seen um, my first impressions on and it is on the Maybelline Dream Wonder Foundation. This one is in the color 40 Nude. It is a beautiful foundation. I absolutely love this. My first impression, my first instinct was right. I was going to love this and I use this quite a bit. I went back to another CVS and I found this on clearance and it is the Lumine, or Lumen, I don't know, the Lumine Finland Time Freeze Anti-Age CC Cream and this is a color correcting cream and it, the shade is in medium and this was the only one left. And it is made with Wild Arctic Lingonberry. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And I have used this a few times. And if you guys want to see my uh, overall review on this, I will gladly do that. Um, it comes in... How many ounces is this? It comes in one ounce Maybelline, as you can see there. And it is really, really pretty. I actually have used this a few times this week. I only paid... 
three dollars for it and i had coupons so i literally paid like a dollar for this so not so bad and i think the regular price is like 16 bucks something ridiculous so next up i went to walgreens and i kind of went a little ham some of my purchases were online from walgreens and the others were actually in store uh multiple visits of course so i picked up a couple of these and it is the clear eyes contact lens multi action relief which i need right now because this eye right here i can't see from right now it's just like because i wear contacts and i wear makeup uh sometimes i get a little bit of eyeliner in my contacts anyone else have that problem Please let me know so I don't feel that stupid. Anyway, so the next items I picked up online were these uh, Wet n Wild lipsticks. I picked up two of each. And these are colors that I have not seen anywhere but on the website and I think in drugstore.com. So I'm just going to swatch these for you guys in order from lightest to darkest. The first shade is 900B in Pink Sugar. And it looks like a nude, but it really... On me, it feels like it looks like a golden peachy nude on my lips. Like, I look extra tan. And this is the color right here. It is a lot lighter than 902C, which is bare all. It is my favorite nude from the collection. The next color is the shade 913C Sandstorm. And, I don't know. Let me shift my caboodle. So, this looks like... Something I wore back in 1999 with a whole heap load of eyeliner. You know, when you used to use the lighter to warm up your eyeliner so you get that nice dark line. But this is exactly what that looks like. I do like it on me, but I feel like it is so warm. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I am going to keep this one, but I think I'm going to return the second one I have. So, I don't know. I mean, it's not an ugly color. I'm just not impressed, I guess. What so the next color I picked up was 909D Coral Line, and it is like an orange coral color, and I think I have a lot of corals from Rimmel. So I'm going to swatch this one, and on me, it's not ugly at all. I kind of, I think I could have used this on my last tutorial, and it is like a, just the perfect orangey coral color, and it is pretty, but I feel like it makes my teeth look extremely yellow so i'm still gonna rock it but it is what it is final shade i got i'm super 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 excited about as you can see um this is the only reason why i went online and i ended up finding these shades in addition to this one and this one is called 919b vamp it up and oh my god my friend put on this color on her lips while she was doing one of her makeup looks and she said it was from the fantasy makers little kits for halloween wet and wild is fantasy makers they just make their little kits for halloween and stuff like that so i went on the hunt for that lipstick shade because she said she was running low because she still has this little lipstick that came in her kit girl it was a thing honey it and it is 919b vamp it up i'm gonna swatch it for you guys now get ready I'm probably going to be wearing this a lot. I might not on my videos, but I will in real life because this is gorgeous and I'm so glad I picked up two and it is this right here. It is almost black, but it is like a gorgeous purple, just dark, vampy, perfect. I love it. I'm super, super excited that I got this. So yes, that's it for my online haul. I ended up picking this trio from Black Radiance and it is... 8773 on point and it says new so I don't know I'm assuming it's new and I really picked it up because of that peachy shade right there and it is gorgeous I've used it for my crease a few times already and I'm in love so I picked up two of the new wet and wild palettes that came out I'm assuming these are like the early fall collection or whatever and this is sunset to sea and I picked it up because of that orange shade. I wanted to see how pigmented it was and if it works great on the crease and yada yada yada. And the next one I picked up was Standing My Campground and it has a beautiful light beigey brow bone color and a pretty pink and a nice brown. So these are pretty neutral palettes but I picked them up mostly for the peachy shades on the trios if you catch my drift. So I finally got my hands on the Milani Bella uh eyeshadows and I picked up five colors and they're all I think I only got one shimmer this one is the shimmer shade and it is Bella Champagne and I will swatch these and this actually makes a good highlight 
a good inner corner highlight and all over the lid highlights a good uh highlights up here like right now bam beautiful the other color i picked up was bella ivory and this is a satin matte and it is pretty for all over the lid and i'm doing pretty big swatches but whatever and it is a satin matte it feels beautiful on the lid it goes on beautifully and it is which color is it it is this color right here I, I i'm stained so the next color i got was another satin matte and this one is in bella cappuccino and i'm gonna swatch this right next to this is actually a great crease transition color like i've used this a few times and it is so soft and i don't think i'm gonna get any pigmentation out of it because it is almost like the same color as my skin for some reason but it is really pretty it's it's kind of warm but not too warm the next color i got was bella purple and not my favorite honestly because it doesn't come off as pigmented it's really really light and I will I'm swatching it twice three times here and it is really really light but it does look good as like an under the lash line color and stuff like that it is really pretty for that but I feel that I can pack it on better with my finger than I could with a brush like I get more pigmentation with my finger this color I picked up from the Milani collection it is Bella Mandarin this is a pretty bright orange but I have used this on the crease a few times even in a few of my videos and I don't know I like it if used gently I'm gonna make a weird swatch here if used gently you can get a really pretty transition color and kind of warm up your eyelids a little bit gorgeous I had some coupons and stuff like that but I went to Target um, I picked up two elf brushes and I picked up another of the small angled brush which I use for my brows and I'm loving it so I figured let me pick up another one and the next brush I picked up was an angled eyeliner brush this one seems a little finer cut which I can appreciate because the old one I have sucked I picked up some refills for my silk effects I mean this is just plain but I really really like it so I got that and I picked up a razor from Chic Quattro just to give it a try and it comes with a trimmer uh, that's all I have to say about that <laughs> and I picked up one for my husband and this is the Chic Hydro 5 sensitive we've never really tried these except for my silk ones the silk effects that I use but that's it so I ended up just giving in and buying the EOS evolution of smooth shave cream and I really think I'm gonna like it I like the smell of it already so that's pretty cool two body washes and I picked up my favorite indulgent coconut from st. Ives and the pure purifying sea salt one which smells just so clean it smells like I've been at the beach I also got these little like trays and this is gonna be for my Alex drawers when I get them in so I'm going to be using that to put in like my paint pots and all my eyeshadows and stuff like that. So finally, I went to Ulta because why not? And I picked up two items. I actually just stocked up or just bought two of these. Uh, Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponges. I love these. I use them in my videos all the time. And it's between this and my beauty blender. But I absolutely love these. And I had a coupon and then some for it. So super, super excited that I got some more. Because I kind of beat that one up. And I'm due for a new one. Anyway. So this is it. That is my massive haul. I will try to edit this so it is a lot quicker for you guys to look at all the crap that I bought. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.